All right. It's Chuseok in Korea. That means Korean Thanksgiving. So it's four days of holiday, including the weekend, which is really only a two day holiday. So it's not all that exciting, but I thought, hey, let's try something uh, Korean. So I was thinking of some uh, Korean topping idea. So I thought, let's start with a bulgogi pizza. I'm gonna do it in the uh, the pan today, but not the, the oily pan style. Bulgogi is, for those who don't know, a kind of marinated beef. Uses soy sauce, a bunch of sugar, and some other stuff. So it's like this salty, sweet, very brown kind of beef. It's pretty good stuff. And they make a bulgogi pizza in Korea, but the problem is they cover the pizza in the bulgogi sauce, so uh, the whole thing is overwhelmingly sweet and frankly, uh, not to be offensive, but you know, it doesn't taste the best. So I thought, let's try just the bulgogi without the sauce everywhere and see how that tastes. So this is my attempt. And since it's a Friday, the holiday starts on a Friday this year, I decided let's make it a slightly you know, healthier dough. Uh, I put some whole wheat flour in there to up the fiber content ever so slightly. A slightly less gilt uh, pizza. Um, yeah, anyway, so this is the dough prep. And that's just about done. But making dough is always pretty much the same. There's not a lot to, to think about there. Let's get to the important part. Yeah, okay, so the fermentation is over. And I pulled this dough out way too late. Which you'll see. You can see how good my gas range is there. Explodes in flame. All right, so here's the bulgogi. You can see there, it's, uh, it's beef brownie beef. Sugary, fatty, delicious. Yeah, bulgogi. All right, so anyway, here we go. Here's another angle. <sighs> it's not the best, but that's what we got. So you can see what happens when your dough is too cold. It's resisting. It's resisting being stretched out. It's resisting. Yeah. So this took uh, this took a while. So please be patient. I'm working on it. Eventually, I just kind of give up, but I get it stretched out as much as possible. So we're doing the pan in the parchment paper method today. Because these pans stick like... I don't want to say what. And as the base, I decided to use uh, something pretty, pretty bland, pretty plain. So there, there it is, ricotta and a little alfredo, which is bland anyway. So it's extra bland. So I thought to, to bring out the flavor of the bulgogi, we need something pretty bland underneath it. So 
this is what I used. Get a little mozzarella and uh, uh, Monterey Jack down there. Cause you gotta have cheese on a pizza, right? Unless it's a, a marinara. And here is the bulgogi. When your tongs fail, just get in there with your hands. Yeah, who cares? Mmm, protein. Gotta have a little Parmigiano Reggiano. And here we go, into the oven. We're actually sharing the oven with the other pizza, but uh, just ignore that. And we're done. Out it comes. Yeah, decent color. Yeah, the beef's a little dark. The crust's a little crispy, but I gotta tell ya, it tasted pretty, pretty, pretty good. And that is my Chusok Bulgogi pizza. Not a lot of rise on the edge there, but eh, whatever, not bad for what it is. Enjoy.